Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name's Brendan and today I'm going to teach you how to do the hip key. This is a foundation move that many people find quite difficult, but it's really important because it's used for a lot of different drops and spins on silks. In today's video, you'll learn how to get a feel for the position, how to perform the hip key from the ground and in the air. And then finally, I'll show you a few different moves that use the hip key as a foundation. All right, let's get started. And remember, you've got this. Starting on the mat with the silk on your right, bring the tail under your right leg and over your left hip. Hold onto the pole end of the silks, pushing it away and leaning to the side. Allow your head and feet to drop lower than your hips and make sure the tail of the silks is over your low back. This is a really nice way to understand how the hip key should feel. Once again, place the silks in between your legs and over your left hip. Push the silks away and then lean over to your right. Once you're in position, bring the silks down to your low back. You should feel secure in your wraps and held in by the silks. If you're enjoying this tutorial, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every time I upload. Once you've got a feel for the position, it's time to practice wrapping in from the mat with your legs. There are three main things that will help you to get your hip key. First, you need to make sure you straddle your legs to move the silks up to your hips. Second, you need to make sure your knee or your foot reaches the pole end of the silks to move them onto your low back. And finally, you need to give yourself time. Don't rush it. Bring your right leg in front of the silks. Pull up and reach your left leg behind the silks. Straddle and roll to your right while keeping your left leg high, thinking about brushing it up against the pole end of the silks. Here I'm demonstrating the straddle in isolation. You can see the bigger the straddle is, the more the silks get pushed up towards your hips. During the roll, keep your left leg as high as possible. If you're lacking flexibility, you can use your knee instead, like I have here. As you can see, this causes the silk to end up in your low back. Doing these two things will make a world of difference for your hip key. All right, now it's time to take it in the air. Doing the hip key off the ground adds one extra challenge. You need to navigate around the silk before you can begin the process. Take your weight in your arms to come out of your climb and bring your right leg to the left side of the silk. From here, the steps are the same. Scoop, straddle and lift as you come over into your hip key. To exit, reach up to the pole end, bring your legs down to untangle and then come back to a climb. My go-to position in the hip key is to have my top knee bent. This might be because it's how I learnt the hip key initially, but there are a lot of variations that you can use, including straight knees, both knees bent, and even straddle. The most common mistakes when trying to do the hip key are not straddling wide enough, rushing, or not lifting the left leg high enough before rolling over into position. All of these things mean the silks will not be in the right position and it's potentially unsafe. Another less common mistake is pulling too much slack and then losing a lot of height in the hip key. And now after working hard on your hip key, you'll find these moves a whole lot easier. I'll leave links for these in the description down below. found this tutorial on the hip key helpful as always if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one bye guys